Good afternoon. Welcome to WJZ.com. It really is not a bad afternoon at all. We'll take a look at these temperatures around the region. Look at that. We're pretty much right near our normal daytime high, which is now in the low 40s. Interesting thing, uh, if this is the first time you've logged on and are joining us, I mentioned it earlier, the normal daytime high has now gone from 41 to 42 degrees. The long climb out of winter has begun. The day is getting noticeably longer. The sun's a little higher in the sky. You can really notice it, particularly if you're driving west during rush hour. You almost need your sunglasses right now. And we've taken the normal daytime high up from 41 to 42. We will not, though, go to 43 degrees until the third, uh, until Super Bowl, uh, a week from Sunday. Now, what we want to show you on radar is a couple fat clouds meandering around the area. It's part of a bigger upper air disturbance that's well up to our north. And that upper air disturbance, to be quite honest about it, is going to uh, be nothing more than a blip on the sat red. As a matter of fact, you can see it moving itself straight off in a west to east direction. What we're going to be seeing behind that is some chillier air moving our way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the future cast. Remember, we had a cold front move through the area yesterday afternoon. Now, that cold front, as it passed by the region, cleared skies out, and behind that front, we've taken temperatures and dipped them down from yesterday's like 114 degrees down to the 40 degree daytime high. Today, we are going to see a bit of a warm up, and that's going to come to uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But behind that warm up, there's a big change coming in our weather. Uh, a big deep area of low pressure just southwest of James Bay, combined with a few other factors, is going to start shoveling in a nice piece of the polar vortex, not only here, but all the way down through the Florida Peninsula, Gulf Coast states, and all the way out to the desert southwest. The vortex of this real cold air is going to be over the Great Lakes states, but here it's going to get pretty darn chilly. What you want to do is take a look at the future cast and keep your eye up here to the north and west. There's going to be not only one frontal boundary move our way, but the big one that's really going to cause the hit is behind that stationary front. It is right there, and that's going to translate to some seriously cold temperatures. Let's not worry about it too much right now. Forecast today is going to call for a high temperature of right around 40, sunny and breezy. Overnight tonight, we'll see skies clear out and we'll see that wind diminish. So it's going to be an honestly cold 19 degrees. Your normal overnight low is 25. That has not gone up yet. We take a look at the seven day forecast, and what we're really going to be seeing here is at the very end of the forecast, you're going to be seeing temperatures like single digits at night. Matter of fact, Tuesday and Wednesday, what we'll see is, I mean, Wednesday and Thursday, 21, 7, 22, and 12. Now, I don't want to jinx anything. We're getting some indications these numbers may be slightly too low. But that, um, by that, I'm only talking about two or three degrees. Point is made. After a pretty darn calm Friday, and really Saturday, pretty much the same thing as our 40 today. We will go up to 48 on Sunday. Then down to 40 degrees Monday. Tuesday, 46 degrees. So we're getting into this temperature roller coaster, but then... Here comes the Northwest unloading on us. You know what? TGI, everybody, ain't it the truth? Let's go ahead and worry about that once we get into next week. Enjoy a nice Friday and have a great, safe, and fun weekend. And thanks so much for stopping by. WJZ.com.